Hello everyone, we are playing MechWarrior Online. I just got back home from Boston and there was a big, big patch this week which uh, added, as you will see very shortly, third person perspective. This is something they've been testing on the public servers for a little bit and doing a lot of streaming of, but it's the first time I've ever actually seen it and played it myself. Uh, let me try firing something. Oh, change my weapon groups before I screw something up horribly. I guess it reset that in third person, but... It's kind of neat. So, uh, I was just quickly skimming over the patch notes, and how this works is uh, you can press F4 to kind of go in, in and out. That's kind of a neat effect. And uh, players who are using third person perspective have a little drone flying behind them, um, which represents each player's kind of camera view of their mech. And it's, uh, you know, a neat kind of. Uh, in canon, but not really canon, sort of way to explain how people can see their mechs from outside of it. When you're in third person, uh, you're a little bit restricted. You can't, uh, your arms are default locked. So you can notice that just by aiming. Uh, so that's kind of interesting. I think it, it actually changes your ability to aim quick. So that's a bit of a problem. And uh, if you happen to power down while in third person perspective, you cannot actually change your view while powered down. So uh, that's another little restriction. Um, so uh, I mean, it was a few patches ago. They added 12v12 instead of 8v8, and now they have third person. So uh, the developers at Piranha Games and um, is it IGP? They're definitely on their way to launching the game in full. Uh, wow, just less than a month from now, actually. Today, the time of this match, it is August 21st at midnight, past midnight. So it's August 22nd, and the uh, full release out of beta is September 17th. I'll just follow these mechs up here since I'm not really paying attention. Um, yeah, so a lot of changes. They also, um, it's been a, kind of an issue uh, with medium mechs being kind of outclassed by heavies and assaults and just like the sheer amount of larger mechs dominating smaller mechs outside of the fast moving lights. So they've definitely they beefed up all of the mediums by making their twists and turns faster. I think they let the hunchbacks even put in larger engines so they can move faster, but they're making an effort to make the medium mix. Hey, hit him. Cool. Um, so yeah, medium mechs. The medium mechs are my jam, so it's good to see them getting a little attention. What they really need to do though, and I'm sure this will come somehow in Community Warfare, is um, add uh, some sort of weight restriction on, on whether it's team size or lance size. Something that will encourage or force players to play mostly with mediums and then supported by, you know, a, a rare assault, you know, a couple of heavies, a couple of lights, but the primary mech really should be medium. And that would definitely make the matches more dynamic as well. So that's something I hope to see someday. Because uh, I know for playing the last couple of months with my own friends, uh, you know, Lyle and, and Ryan from my channel, who you know, they um, are always playing large mechs, and always fighting against large mechs, and I'm always stuck trying to drive one of my mediums. Um, and uh, unless I'm using the Cicada, I'm usually usually pretty classed. And that's no fun. I should also mention that I am playing uh, one of my first rounds here, not using the keyboard and mouse. Well, I am using the mouse, but instead for my left hand, I'm using uh, a game controller by Razer. It was just announced a week or two ago. It's called the Razer Tartarus. It's uh, a very comfortable, lightweight, uh, kind of like a gamepad thingy for your left hand, which represents, it has like 15 keys on it, and a thumb rest where you can uh, still have control of your, of your space bar. It has an extra button, and it has like a little sort of analog stick, which you can use for your, your left, right, up, down keys. Uh, but essentially, it's got the WASD in the middle, surrounded by all the other keys, so I can still tab, I can still target enemies. I'm gonna chase this guy just for funsies. So it takes a little bit getting used to, because it is different than playing on a keyboard, but it's, uh, it's really cool. It looks badass. Uh oh Guy's almost dead. Oh, that was a waste of a shot. The team is doing good, even though I'm not really doing anything. Target acquired. 
right, let's go chase this guy. Gotta get one kill. Oh yeah, I'm driving the Yenlo Wing, uh, the Hero Mech, along with, uh, what was it now, the X5 maybe? It was on sale. Shit, I just can't go this way. It was on sale last week for like 50% of the MC cost, so I picked it up. I've always kind of wanted to try it, wanted to try the Centurion. And this one, uh... Oh, no kill for me. Alright, I'm coming for you. Want you? Oh, component destruction! No! Damn it! Killing them too fast. Yeah, I have like <laughs> minimal damage this round, but that's okay. My team's doing really good. Um, guess we can go to their base. There he is, I saw him. I saw him. Target acquired. Oh, he's pretty hurt. Oh, the dragon's gonna get the kill. Oh well. Uh yeah, my Yenlo, I put in the biggest engine you could. The XL three hundred. I got that from Sarah's Jenner. Oh, I should also mention uh the uh, fundraiser, the one month fundraiser is over and uh, the mechware community raised a like $120,000 or something which means like a ton of people paid the $10 fee to get the mech and support the cause and all of those proceeds go to the Canadian Cancer Society so that's amazing. It's it's super, super awesome. I was reading the, um, the press release about it and I was like almost tearing up because of how awesome that was. Uh, yeah, I didn't do any damage this round, but that that's wicked. I'm so happy to see that so many people jumped jumped on that, and, and not just the MechWare community, but the media and the developers for putting the mech in the game. That's a super, super great cause, and um, it's a good way to honor um, Sarah, the, the five-year-old who passed away uh, and lost the battle with cancer. So hopefully that money gets put to good use at the Canadian Cancer Society, and uh, I hope to see more fundraisers like that in the future. But uh, anyways, that's that's third person perspective. I didn't really do anything. I was too focused on talking and being horrible. But uh, it's kind of neat. But uh, I think I prefer to play first person. Uh, and they labeled that um, what do they call it now? Hardcore. I think hardcore is strictly first person, and the, the default modes are third person. But you can of course jump into the cockpit and still play. I, I have a feeling most players who are used to playing the game are playing in uh, first person anyway. I think it's better. Until next time.